And we're back. Let's see, we just found a leaflet for a school. David, looks pretty old. <clears throat> These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the form of tenants. You sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Okie dokie. Weird shamu. Phone. Pick up. Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you have a lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told you your number. She said she was wor so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I, I don't need, need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see you. You know, I'm going to use my normal ac accent for David. Less of a hassle. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, foods. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. TV. Electric appliances. Please cooperate. Well, why do you turn on myself? Is it broken? This is creepy. Yes, David, it is. Did it say sink? What was that? Okay, check out the sink, perhaps. Hello, sink. A wash basin. No, oh, alright. Kitchen sink, kitchen sink. Do, 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 do. What do we have? Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Creepy, creepy, yes. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... Uh... This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Yes, if your electronic appliances would function as they should. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Oh, more crying. Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. <laughs> Not a night's sleep for you, David. Hmm. Of course, there's no, no kids here. Must be getting tired. Okay. Something just shattered. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. What? What? Help me. The coffee says you've got to be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. Yeah, David, I so we sort of get that. Got that long ago. What is this? Good question, David. Excellent question. Okay, more phone action. Uh, hi Paul, it's David. Yeah, what's up, man? You sound sleepy. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is, is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady. You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady is on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. 
Sounds good. This place is really starting to creep me out a bit. What with its text everywhere and its electronic appliances not working. Oh, you're... Hey, another crack in the wall. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About a room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about a person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my, rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you'd like. No, 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 there's no need. I was just, just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. All right, sorry I wasn't very useful. Badoom. Okay, so mysterious guy leaves. Name forgotten. A man about my age, I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Yeah, that room, you know, the safe haven. The place where things always go right. Footprints. No. The crack in the wall. Footprints to or from the crack in the wall. Oh. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. This key's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. Okay. The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha, it's like a poltergeist it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Wow. Dark. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Yeah, man, you need to sleep. Phone, shut up. TV, stay off. What now? What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? What? TV? No? The crack? Nothing? Phone? No? I hear something in the room. Okay. The computer? Nothing. Oh, oh damn. No, wait. It's just a shower. I thought it was another track. Where is it coming from? Not TV. Empty trash can. Stove. Cupboards. The crack. There's a large crack in the wall. Okay. Nothing from the crack. Came from in here. Radio? What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm. There's something on this paper. It's an address? Okay, okay. Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? On Silent Hill, of course. The Hotel of Silent Hill. Got a paper with an address. Okay. Go to this room, please. I'm waiting for you. What? 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 
I'm, I'm waiting for you. What? Why did? How? And when did it? So you sleep well last night. Sorry I had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. So late. Ha, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Well, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the new Lewis love nest. Hey, why you? Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, kidding. Seriously though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to have a buddy, buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you've got your mother to look after. But I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me can find a date, could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mum in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Ah, <laughs> well. I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. Okay, so I'm going to visit that address then, I think. There. Oh. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five-hour drive. Did former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway, can't. Forward, David, for the press. Or oh, for your sanity, as the case may be. Prologue. David's room. End. Oh, that was the prologue? Oh, well. Damn. It means it's going to be way more game then. Save. David Hoover. Right, so I will end that part there. After these noises. And there we go. See you next part.